Yes, I've got another entry. This is from Linda Dexter Interlace. Lydia Dexter Interlace. I'm sure that's her name. Let me just check. Oh, she's just put Lydia Dexter on her dress, so maybe it's Lydia Dexter, but I do, I'm sure it's double barreled. Anyway, she sent me this beautiful, beautiful card. Um, oh, it's got some tape stuck on it from somewhere. Dear Amanda. Ah, oh, what does it say on the front? Warm thoughts like lovely flowers, lighten the heart and brighten the hours. Oh, and then it says, taking a moment to keep in touch because you're thought about so much. That's a nice rhyme for a card, isn't it? Oh, thank you. <clears throat> then inside it says, Amanda, thank you for the chance to enter. I hope you like it. Please excuse the horrible handwriting. Hugs, Linda. Everybody says that. Oh, my handwriting's awful. Because we're all so used to using a computer. Um, we don't handwrite much, do we? But not when we're handwriting there, Linda. Now, I have to say, Linda, I have opened this box already because I've had my daughter here all day and my um, two grandchildren. And it's not very often that my daughter comes with them because um, we have a bit of a strained relationship. Not on my part, on her part. She's got a bloody chip on her shoulder. <laughs> So when she comes, um, it's quite novel for me and, I, and I'm in my element, so um, I didn't want anything to disrupt it. So, um, But I did have a quick peek. So I have taken it out of its box and it's just wonderful. And I'll just show ladies as well, she's wrapped it in this tool, which I'm so grateful for. Because, you know, it's quite expensive in the UK's tool. And the only place that I've seen it to buy in this six, six inch wide variety is in like hobby craft and it's like a ridiculous amount of money and um, because I did used to do um, two tools and this is the best stuff to make them with this is what all the American ladies that do two tools make them with because it's nice and soft and I just couldn't get it so I used to make mine with dress net so she sent me loads of tool bless her and that one's nice and glittery so thank you I'm very very grateful and then here's her entry um, I will just say, I did just have to slightly repair just the back um, metal piece, Linda. It had just come away from the from the base, obviously in transit. So I've just put a blob of glue on the back of it um, to repair it. And it's this metal bit here that... So this is Linda's entry. And it's another miniature. So I've got, I've got a set of two now. I'm well chuffed. Um, and this one is a ladies dressing table. Now she has done a video of it and she has posted it on Facebook. I'm just still trying to get my lighting right. Um, so I hope it comes out alright. I'll, I'll, I'll look back and if I don't think it's doing it justice I'll do it again. But right, so she's made um, a dressing table. And I think it's like, I think that's wood. Or chip very, I think it's wood or very heavy chipboard covered in lovely, lovely paper. I don't know what paper range it is, but it's lovely. And it's got one, two, three, four, twelve, <laughs> twelve little drawers with like this crackle effect paper. And they all open, and they've all got little I don't want to break it little tiny pulls. So just, just lovely. I'm still um, looking over it because I did have a quick peek. But as I say, because my daughter was here, I didn't inspect it. And then on the top here, it's absolutely stunning. I love it. Lighting. Urgh. I'm not happy with this lighting. Um, on the top, it's got... I'm not happy with lighting at all. Is that better? That's better, isn't it? It's got it like lace on the top of it. And it comes down each side and it's gathered like that. It says, and then she's um, done all this big like filigree type uh, fretwork um, back to it. Uh, I think it's chipboard, and it's covered in like uh, lovely. Pa it, I, I thought it had lace on the back, but it's it's obviously the paper. It's like a lace effect, and then it's got music on, which you can see better at the back there. It looks like it's got lace stuck on it, but it hasn't. Um. 
so that's beautiful and then she's put a, like a little mirror in the middle isn't it great and then we've got a little photo here that she's made it's even got the little you know the little triangle stand at the back and I know she's done all that herself and then we've got a little miniature cup of tea and a spoon <laughs> I love miniatures I think they're brilliant and this is a little clock um, and I think she did something to that to make that more 3D as well. I think it was just like the clock face and she's put something behind it to make it look like it's a chunky clock. And then we've got a little silver tray with a little mirror and a key. Um, in Linda's video she said that, you know, the ladies back in the day, they always had a little key, didn't they? For their, uh, whatever, for their... Um, little drawers or the pantries or the whatever they always had a little key didn't they? and then these little look at them little bottles i mean she's obviously made those out of beads they're fantastic really really clever and then it's got this lovely rose uh, i think it's i think it's meant to be a necklace that how pretty is that like she's left a little necklace on a dresser it's flipping ace is this i love it and then we've got a little vase of flowers and uh, it even looks like it's got water in. It's brilliant. Really clever. And all the edges uh, have got, I don't know, distressed or inked or something. And then she's put this metal framework here that holds this. What, it, you know, I don't know if she's made this or whether it's come like this, but it looks like it's a little lamp hanging over. And that's like a, a proper metal piece that, and it runs all the way down the back. With little flowers on look and then just um casually hung over the the mirror is a hat a lady's hat and now i'm sure she's made this out of a pot bottle i mean it's just amazing look at it it's just like a lovely little hat it's got a bow and then it's got these dangly bits look at it all the way around in a little frill and then these these beads coming out the top. I mean, that is absolutely stunning on its own. Just the hat. Look at that little flower. That's fantastic. That hat. I love that. That'd look good on it. You know, if you could um, show us how to make one of those. I mean, that on its own would look good on a canvas or a picture, wouldn't it? It's just got a little tiny bit bent there. Uh, probably the weight of the hat has squashed it a little tiny bit in in transit um, but the rest of it's pretty pretty secure and then she's put these little feet now she did say that she ordered some feet has that one come loose that she I'll just see if it'll press back into that she ordered some feet specially for this and they didn't come in time or they didn't send them or something they were missing out of her order so she's had to make these out of book you know, book corners. So I think she's done a really good job to think of that. She's even put paper on the bottom, look. Uh, I don't know what she's used. It feels, uh, the framework is very solid. It's very, very pretty. I just think it's ace. <laughs> when I opened the box, my daughter was here and I just went, oh, oh my God, and she's like, what's wrong with you? <laughs> and she looked at it and she, she I mean she hasn't seen a lot of my craft stuff because like I say she doesn't come very often don't think she's been since did she come at Christmas I think she came at Christmas no she didn't even come at Christmas because I went to her I went I took the kids presents and dropped them at her house so she hasn't been to my house in months so she hasn't seen all all of this you know stuff that I've got together and all the entries and she was absolutely astounded so then she came in my craft room wanting to look at all the others then and uh, she thought they were all really 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 outstanding she couldn't believe believe the the caliber of the entries she really she says I can't believe that people have made these out of bits and bobs so there you go I mean that is just beautiful isn't it I just love it absolutely love it Thank you, Linda. I really, really love it. It's absolutely stunning. I just love it. I just think it's ace. And it really does look like, you know, a lady's dressing table and she's just left a necklace there and she's 
a cup of tea. <clears throat> uh, it's just wonderful. So much detail and so much thought, you know, and so many individual made pieces. Because that's, you know, she hadn't just gone to the shop and bought a load of stuff and stuck it on. You know, she's made, I mean, that hat, she's made that. So that that's an element in itself, isn't it? You know, and then all these little drawers have all to be covered. And I think it's just marvellous. And I love this back piece. It's very vintage looking, isn't it? I love it. So that's it. Stood. Like that. And all these little tiny pearl handles that she's done. All one by one, all individually. I think they're just great. A lot of work gone into that, you know, and a lot of thought. It's really, really clever. I absolutely love it. I think I'm just going to have to leave country because I, I really can't. I'm really struggling at the moment to pick because I just love them all. But that is just absolutely another outstanding entry. I love the fabric on there. I just love that hat as well. <laughs> I think it is. There's a little collection of flowers up there. You're a very, very talented crafter, Linda. Very talented. If you're not subbed to Linda Dexter, you need to go sub her. Um, she's a beautiful, beautiful crafter. Um, in fact, go and have a look at what she's just sent um, Sharon at Hope for a Cure Crafts. She did the most beautiful, beautiful, uh, like, canvas picture. Just stunning. Absolutely stunning. Um, so, yeah, that is... So, go and give her a sub. <laughs> she's fantastic. She's from America. Lovely lady, lovely accent. <laughs> um, this is absolutely fabulous. Now, I had... I had already had a sneak peek at it on Facebook, so oh look, you, you've got me in, you've got me in, uh, uh, like surround sound there, because I'm there and then I'm in the mirror there. <laughs> I had already seen a sneak peek of this on Facebook, so I knew what was coming and I knew what to expect. But in in the hand, it's just so much prettier because you know you can get in and you can have a look, and it's super. There we go. Fabulous entry. Right, ladies, I'll just mention as well. Um, my, I'm sure, I'm going to have to look, watch my original channel back, uh, video back, but I'm sure that the challenge was meant to run for four weeks, which means it's up today. Now, um, I know there are, is one late entry for definite, and that's from Karen. Hers is just about to go in the post. A bit, I mean, it costs a lot of money, doesn't it? You know, when you're doing this and doing that, you can't do it all can you so she said so that should be here by monday but there are another couple of ladies who have said that they're um, joining the challenge um and i haven't received an entry so if you um think that you're one of those ladies i don't want to like message people and go um are you sending me something for my challenge or what because it, <laughs> i don't want people to think i'm being rude um, but if, you, if you're entering my challenge and you haven't seen a video of your item yet, can you let me know if it's in the post? And obviously I'll wait on to do the judging until your entry gets here. Because I, I don't want to do the judging and then somebody's entry turns up. I'll feel well tight. Um, so let me know if, if you're still entering and I haven't shown your item yet. Please let me know. And then I know how long to extend my challenge for because um i don't want to extend it too long because a lot of ladies that you know entered uh, i mean caroline sent me her entry over two weeks ago so um i don't want to extend it too long um and keep waffling on about it <laughs> so if you're still entering and i haven't had you had your entry just just um either comment on here it's on the way or, or private message me um and then if i don't hear from anybody by Saturday, then it will end as soon as Karen's gets here, um, which will be Monday or Tuesday, and then that'll be it. I'll be judging. So thanks to everybody that's um, entered so far. I'm really conscious at time. Thanks to everybody that's entered so far. You've all done marvellous. I'll be back on shortly with a TMI response because I've been tagged by Ruth Bye for now. <laughs>